let's just have a quick look at where we could go with Google Plus. Everyone's got it here on their email or on their drive. Um, this is going to be my Google Plus. However, um, I can show you a few things that you can get going so you can start some learning and maybe you can direct your students to where they can do some learning. The first stop for me when I do some learning is going to be where my communities are. I've followed at this point maybe about 50 different communities, but that's because I want to learn about so many different things. So we go to my communities, you see all the communities that I'm following. All right, let it load first. And I load, I, I follow mostly educational uh, ones. Like, look, we got Google Apps for Education, Google Apps for all this education ones, and a few funny ones, joke of the day, you know, but I follow Google Classroom and all this. Now, as a teacher, you want to follow these types of things so that you can continue the learning. Uh, but what about your students? Maybe you teach science. So you want to search for some communities, and you can uh, have your students start, uh, start to do that. Or, oh, Science at Google Plus, interesting, 320,000 members. Join that and have a look. Um, what about if we actually just created a community that your students can, uh, uh, you can learn with? So a lot of possibilities here with communities. Let's, uh, let's go back to uh, my circles here. I go to people. And circles is a way to organize uh, your friends. So if I go to your circles, uh, you can go ahead and you can start making these circles. You add circles and then you can go through your people and you can start organizing your students or the teachers. And get on Google Plus and you know, start sharing out to the world and sh learn from other people, but contribute as well and, and connect as much as you can.